But one of the things I realized halfway through was like, you know, this is kind of the epiphany. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm in the wrong decade. Yeah. So yeah. when I looked at the history of the work in a field like laser physics, it was all done in the 60s. And so a lot of the work that had been done in other arenas was translated over. It was this magic decade where they invented the whole field. So we were doing exciting stuff, but it was incremental. And so one of the biggest takeaways I actually had from grad school is like, wow, I need to be in a field which is going to have its magic decade coming up, not the magic decade has passed a few decades ago. And it's not necessarily a decade, but I think a lot of fields, you find that there's this period of 10 to 20 years where the field just explodes and just all the fundamentals and discoveries are made. And halfway through, I went to this talk on the Human Genome Project, which was just in the earliest stages. I was just fascinated. I said, wow, this is going to change the field of biology going into the 21st century. It's going to become a quantitative science. It's going to be like we have thought of physics or chemistry of these other kind of physical sciences, the bio life sciences are going to become the same way. And then once it's quantitative, it's going to advance really fast. So that was just kind of one of my aha moments, which at first wasn't the greatest feeling because it was like, well, all the stuff I've been doing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But then I was pretty determined. I said, wow, this is definitely how the future is going. I just feel, I see it. And all this time, you know, I feel I've been in the wrong decade. Now I can't yeah. right decade. And so that was really the biggest outcome. It sort of used that to transition to life sciences. And that was a big leap, you know, again, going into the big unknown. I think the last time I took a biology class was high school. 